Hey everybody, my name is Carl and I'm a fire safety officer for Greater Manchester Fire and Rescue Service, which is now a big sign above my head in case you forget. Now, the main sort of role of the fire service is to deal with emergency situations. But once you've done this for a couple of years, like I had, you have the decision that you can make to either stay on the fire engines or you can venture into different departments. Now, the different departments that we have are fire safety, fire investigation, corporate trainers, senior management team, our researchers, the list is quite extensive. So it gives you a bit of variety in the role of a firefighter. Now to join a fire service, you need to be relatively fit, not scared of heights, not scared of poor spaces, and you would have the equivalent of a level C in maths and English. Now to join a fire service, when you know you've got them, you would then go to our website at www.manchesterfire.gov.uk forward slash join us and there you can see the instructions on how to join the fire service and when we are uh, open for recruitment. Now if you were to come and do some work experience, we would probably be involved in fire safety which would involve us using our computer system to identify some high risk premises. Once we identify some high risk premises, we would then send them a letter or make a phone call to make an appointment for us to go and do an inspection. On the day of the inspection, what we would do, we would sit down with the responsible person and we'd have a look at their management procedures. Once we've had a look at them and we're happy that they are keeping logbooks and doing the test that just is required, we would then have a wander around the building and have a good look around to make sure that we are happy with what we can see. Now at the end of all that, we would use this computer to calculate the score. Now if the score is good, we would call that a broader compliant and let them know that thank you very much and continue doing what you're doing. However, if there are issues, then we could either serve them in notification deficiencies, which is basically just saying to them, listen, you've got a few issues, you get them sorted, we may then provide them with an enforcement, we can say, listen, there's some serious issues, but we will give you a set amount of time to resolve them. Now if we feel that people are in serious danger, then what we will do is prohibit the use of the building. And um, that's very rare, but it's something that we can do. Now my advice to you, if you were to look at joining the fire service, is look at maybe going to college and showing that you have got them skills that you have for, the academic skills in their maths and English. Maybe do a public service course to give you some sort of prior knowledge. Um, but make sure you just keep relatively fit and out of trouble. Thank you very much and all the best. Stay safe.